Hi everyone, welcome back to another Face Mask Friday. Hey guys. And Corey, what are we going to be doing today? Yeah, it's so strange to say. I this know, thing. right? I don't remember what I usually say because I have a whole like intro shtick that I've been working yeah, on. Yeah, there's like a thousand more people since you were like. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> Hi everyone, does anyone know who I am anymore? How can they find out videos that you've been in before? Uh, find them right here. Boop. Zeggy playlist. Yeah. yeah. I've been doing Face Mask Friday for like a year and a half. So you say you're a skincare expert? I am indeed a <laughs> face mask expert. Oh, cool. Skincare, I can give or take. Your skin looks pretty nice. That, oh, yeah, that always looks nice. My skin is flawless. <laughs> um, that's what the comments always say. So I think, yeah, the thousand more people are all caught up. Cool. This week, we are going to be doing the uh, charcoal pore minimizing Hydrogel mask. Yeah, from Bossia, which is from like my Bossia. favorite. Yeah, Corey really likes Bossia. Yeah, and I love gel masks, honestly. I have high hopes for this bad boy. To use, open foil pack and remove two piece hydrogel face mask. Unfold face or unfold mask pieces. Bottom piece will be on the top. That doesn't make any <laughs> sense. <laughs> uh, remove the clear lining from bottom piece. Align and place exposed mask surface directly onto clean, dry face, keeping the white layer in place. Smooth out edges firmly and adjust to contours of face along the jawline. Remove white liner and smooth out air pockets using finger fingertips. Repeat process with top piece starting from the hairline. Overlapping will occur around the cheek area. Leave on for 20 minutes. Remove mask and disregard. Discard. <laughs> <laughs> I no longer acknowledge you. <laughs> disregard that. Um, remove mask and discard. Then massage remaining ex essence in foil packet onto face, neck, and decolle. There's the ingredients. There's an expiration date on this, which yeah, I don't really that's... notice most of the time. I don't know either, and it's made in Korea. Cool. Meow, meow. Santa got them for you. Oh yeah, Santa gave them to us for Christmas. And now we're yeah. gonna do them for our Valentine's Day special. Yeah, he knew that you liked Basia face masks, so. Oh, he's so good at listening. Yeah. Good job, Santa. Aw. <laughs> How much did Santa pay for these bad boys? Um, well, if he paid his elves, $11 would have been that. Hmm. It's a pretty, a pretty premium, I would say. Yeah. 11 bucks for a one-time. That's true. It is 11 bucks for a one-time mask. Yeah. There's oftentimes better deals, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see if it's worth it. Let's yeah. uh, crack this bad boy open and... Uh... The bottom's on the top, you said? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god, it's so slippery. Okay. Yeah, that was weird. Okay. I um, think I got mine. There's three layers here, actually. There's actually a clear layer, a plastic layer, and the white liner. And what did they say? Leave the liner? Leave the white? Remove clear liner from bottom piece. And put that to your face. Yes. Actually, does it say that? <laughs> Too late. <laughs> this is really slippery. It is super slippery. One right? side is textured, though, so you can kind of tell that's the side that's going to go at your skin, I guess, for better grip. There's the clear off. How I do I look? I don't know. Yeah, if you have a beard, it does not stick to the sink at all. And even like just stubble can be a problem. Okay, so now that the grippy side's on fully, it does stay on pretty well. I was a little worried at first, but I really it's... like these two pieces, even though they take a little bit of fandangling. Fandang, fandang. I do too, especially when you have a beard, but it's so difficult. You ladies don't know what it's like. God. I was struggling to get it on and really adjusting it quite forcefully and it didn't tear or rip or anything. Sometimes these hydrogel masks are really delicate, but uh, looks, looks 
pretty good. Can you guys see the texture on this side? Yeah. Good demonstration, babe. Zoom in. <laughs> it's a nice fit. It totally covers my nose. Oops. What's going on on this side? Oh, yeah. Totally covers my nose. Doesn't fit too big, too small. Then mouth hole's nice and big. The eye holes are really generous. It does fit my nose pretty well. That's a big problem for me, too, because I have a big nose. No cooling sensation. No real smell, although. No. When I first pulled it out, I thought maybe there was a bit of a smell. I would say it's like plasticky hydrogel smell. So now I guess we just gotta go relax for 20. Cool. <laughs> Good enough. No. And we're back. Feels cold. It does feel cold. When you walk around, it really feels cold. Uh, it's actually fairly dry feeling. Yeah. Now. Just kind of it's a little like tacky. Dry and like, sticky, but sticky. held on really well. It's super slippery when you first take it out. But once yeah. it's on, it's it's on. So we're gonna do it one piece. Feels really gross. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's so gross. So my skin feels sticky. I noticed when we put it on earlier that I did have to wash my hands because it felt kind of like yes. sticky slash slimy. So I think I'm not going to put the rest of it on my face like it says. The mask did claim to minimize pores, purify, and refine texture. So do you feel like any of that happened? Got to check in the mirror. My pores look the same, but everybody knows that pore minimizing things are a lie, right? It's a lie. My pores look good. Do you so, feel moisturized? Maybe, yeah. I, I feel know. moisturized and cold. I definitely am going to rinse. Yeah. Out of five, what would you give it? Hmm. So, I think I'm going to give it a two and a half out of five. But wait, like, if I imagined my really favorite mask, it would be maybe hydrogel, maybe just normal. Like, I don't have anything against hydrogel masks. And I loved this one. I liked how it stuck on really well. Mm. And I liked that it was unscented. And I liked that there was like not too much sensation. But I feel like I'm not too sure if it did anything for me. Yeah. And I thought it was a little bit boring. Like it was fun and it looked funny. But and in my mind, like my perfect mask would not be anything like overwhelming. But it was just like underwhelming overall. I can see that, yeah. What would you give it out of five? I'd give it a three, which for me is like the middle ground. Yeah. Um, not 2.5. Two and a half, which is actually the middle ground. Well, I can't give it a zero, so it starts <laughs> at like one to five. So Absolutely give it a zero. No. I'm sure we've given things zero in the past. It seemed fine, um, but there wasn't really anything of note. Yeah. Kind of expensive for what it's worth. Really expensive. So... Yeah. I feel like you would get a similar experience from those uh, Mediheal Hydrogel IPI Nude blah 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 masks. You can check those up here. Those were like 10 bucks for a package of like 10. Yeah. So, so I'd say check that one out. I think say. I like those ones better. Oh yeah, it's Valentine's Day episode. What are our plans for Valentine's Day? I arranged our anniversary. So... You're going to paint night. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> I'm taking our classes on Wednesdays. And you said you were going to make me spaghetti and buy me a card. You forgot. You forgot all the plans that we already pre-planned. It's Valentine's Day. I mean, it's only Friday before Valentine's Day, so you have True. a couple more days to, like, days to get it together. Pretend like I knew what was going Do on. Do it on Tuesday or Thursday. Can't. Not Friday, because then you enjoy your Friday. I think you're busy already, aren't you? I don't think so. We'll find out. Bye. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on social media. Thank you to all of our Patreons. Um, Corey will be back again on Monday with another video. And we'll see you guys again. Sometime. Sometime. For another Face Mask Friday. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Make your baby do some face masks. Yeah. Guys, it's not that big of a deal. Right? What were you Looking say? at you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Bye!
Thank you to all of our Patreons. There was a new one. I forgot that it changed halfway through. Say that again because I was yawning. Very rude. <laughs>